Jane here, and I'm back with another digital demo for you. Uh, I've got a few emails and Facebook messages from both customers and fellow Creative Memories advisors asking if I could do a bit of a walkthrough how, I, how to download or I guess upload really or import the Creative Memories digital artwork that we're all so excited about into the Forever Artisan scrapbooking program. Now if you're not familiar with Forever Artisan, uh, it is an amazing digital scrapbooking software. You can create photo books, photo gifts, as well as uh, original scrapbooking pages with it. Um, I will put the link to this down below, but this video is really aimed at people who are already using uh, Artisan and who want to be able to use the Creative Memories artwork in Artisan. So after you purchased and uh, purchased your, decided on and purchased your Creative Memories artwork, you will get an email uh, with the download link, but you can always find your downloads in your My Account tab once you've logged on to the Creative Memories website. You'll go down to My Downloadable Products, and there you'll see all of the kits that you have purchased. All right, And the nice thing is, is that you can see that remaining downloads is unlimited, which is great because if you've downloaded it once and then you forget where you put it or you deleted it by accident, you can always come back here and download it again. The other thing to notice is that they're in zipped file format. So once you download the zipped file, you will have to unzip it or some computers uh, ask if you want to extract everything in the file. So make sure that you set up a file or a folder where you can find your digital artwork easily. And now let's have a look at how we can add it into Artisan. So this is what Artisan looks like uh, when you open it. And we're going to be concerned with this tab here, Import Content. So when we click on that, there's two choices. A commercial art kit is the proprietary kits that Forever sells, that work with Forever Artisan. But it also allows you to use any JPEG or PNGs, as well as BMPs and TIF files. So this is what we're going to be choosing as the CM Digital Artwork is in JPEG and PNG files. So we're going to create a new personal art kit and I like to call all of my CM kits CM and then the name of the collection. So I'm just going to create a new personal art kit, make sure that it's in personal art kits and say OK. And where do I want to put the imported art? I want to put it in the CM Sorbet kit. So I'll click on import. Now, it's blank, obviously. There's nothing in here yet, so we have to bring it on in. Now, there's two uh, sort of task bars that look like they're, they're the same. There's paper embellishment, shape, edge, corner, and color. The ones down here that are already kind of in the file will show us all of the items once they're uploaded, but these are the tabs on the task bar that we're going to use to add the items to the kit. So let's first of all click on paper. And then we're going to scroll to where I've saved my artwork. And I just have it in my documents, CM Digital Artwork. And then I have a folder for each of the collections. So here's Sorbet. You can see that I have Elements, which is the embellishments and stickers, the map pack, which are the journaling cards and photo mats, and here's the paper pack. So let's open this up. And the nice thing in this particular kit is you get bonus pages. Uh, they're the pre-designed pages using the Sorbet artwork. So I'm just going to import the paper right now. So click on this, and you'll see that I've got 12 different papers that I need to import. Instead of doing them all individually, uh, an easy trick is to click on one. You'll see that the little check mark happens there. Click on Shift on your keyboard. And then you can either individually select them or scroll down to the last item in the folder and select it. And all of the items then, all of the papers will be selected. Then all you do is click open and you'll see that each of the papers is populated into that paper category inside your newly created uh, personal art kit. So we'll just take a second there to get them all in. There they are. Can't wait to play with those. And now let's do the embellishments. So again, when we click on embellishments here, there's nothing, okay, because we've only uploaded paper. So we want to go up to this tab, click on it, and then we're going to scroll to where we have the folder, documents, digital artwork, sorbet, and now I'm going to choose elements. 
And there's lots of elements. I think there's over 100. So again, I'm going to use my little trick. Click on the first one, hit the Shift key, and then scroll all the way to the end and click on the very last one, and then all of the elements will be selected. Hit Open, and it's going to start to populate it. Now, it won't switch over to the embellishments category for a second or so here, but now you'll see that all of the embellishments are in there. They are so fun. I'm loving these flowers down here. So now it's ready for us to, to play with, and I'll definitely be doing another, um, another digital demo for you uh, to show you how we can uh, use the Creative Memories artwork in uh, a step-by-step -step scrapbook page. Now, if there's anything that you want me to show you how to do, any kind of ideas that you have for digital demos, please let me know. You can either Facebook message me, you can go to my blog and hit the contact button there. Uh, you can get in touch with me via Instagram or even leave a comment down below this video. So if you found this to be helpful, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up below. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other videos. And we will definitely see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.